everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be doing a revision of a dog sweater I've made before. The last time I made this dog sweater, it was um, one of my fairly new videos, and so I didn't have the nice camera angle that I have now, and so on and so forth. So, we are going to be doing that, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be doing a revision of the cabled extra small dog sweater. We are going to be using um, our four ply worsted weight yarn. You're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, and some buttons. Now before we get started on that, I have something new and exciting in my life. I got my very first tattoo and I love it. So big shout out to Sacred Skin and Studio in Kamloops, BC. My artist's name was Clay and he did a fabulous job and I highly recommend. Now this is only two days old or one day old. I got it yesterday so um, we'll see how it looks after it's done all its healing process but so far, I love it. Anyway, okay, let's get on to our, our tutorial. <clears throat> so, worsted weight four ply yarn. I buy those big balls that you can get from Walmart. So, we're gonna start by crossing our yarn and we're gonna chain 40 stitches. One, two, three, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm sorry if I cough through the tutorial. Just bear with me, and you can't catch it because we're on the video. It's not like we're in person, so it's all good. Okay, so we want 40 stitches, and I lost count. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, <coughs> 30 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, now we are going to catch our tail. Sorry, we're going to go into that first chain at the beginning. Okay, and we're going to slip stitch to join. Okay, now we're going to chain up two. One, two. We're going to go in every stitch around, and like I said, we're going to catch our tail. I always catch my tail for the first couple of stitches. So now we're doing half double crochets. So yarn over into the stitch. Pull your yarn through and then go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. So we're going to do those all the way around. I'm catching my tail for the first couple of stitches and now I'm going to just do it like this. And you're probably asking why I do that when I have such a long tail. I don't catch it more. I'm just doing this to anchor and then I still weave it in because I'm paranoid about my ends coming up. So go all the way around. You should end up with 40 stitches and then meet me back. Okay, so we're done the 40 half double crochet all the way around. Now I'm going into <clears throat> that second chain and we're gonna do a slip stitch, okay? I'm gonna chain up three and now we're gonna do double crochets all the way around. So yarn over, into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, go through two, go through two. That's a double crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over, 
into the stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. There you go. So we're going to do this all the way around. So that very first row we did is our foundation row. Okay. This next row that we're doing is part of the pattern, part of the um, what makes it so we can do our cable, okay? So do double crochet all the way around, meet me back. Okay, so we've gone all the way around and I've got 40 double crochets, okay? Now, when I do these rows, I find that sometimes they start to go on a diagonal. So rather than going into the third chain, I'm going to go into that very first double crochet in order to make my slip stitch, okay? Now we're going to chain up one and now we're doing single crochets all the way around. So to do a single crochet, you go in the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops. And that's all it is to a single crochet. And we're going to do that all around. Now these two rows are what's going to allow us to make our cables, okay? So next row, you're going to start seeing the development of the cable. So do single crochet all the way around and then meet me back. Okay, so I've gone around, I've got my 40 single crochets. We're going into that chain up one space to slip stitch. Okay, now we're gonna chain up three. In the first stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet, okay? Now we're gonna start building our post. So, yarn over twice. We're gonna skip the stitch. We're gonna go down into that double crochet row below and we're gonna go around that front post from the back and we're gonna do a triple crochet, okay? Or a treble crochet, which is, sorry, I did it. <laughs> Let's undo it, okay. So yarn over twice. In behind that front post, pull your yarn through. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Okay. Now we're going to skip the next post. Go into the one after that. Oops. We're going to yarn over twice. Skip that post. Go into the next post. And we're going to do a treble crochet again. Then we're going to go yarn over twice, go into the next post from the back, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two loops, two loops, two loops. Okay. Now yarn over twice. We're going back to that post we skipped. Pull your yarn through, two loops, two loops, two loops. And now yarn over twice. We're going to the post that would have been next. Two loops, two loops, two loops. Okay. Now, if you look behind your work, okay, you're going to have five blank ones. One, two, three, four, five. In the next one, you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, so behind your work, you should have five stitches that are empty. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then a double crochet into the next stitch and another double crochet into the stitch after that. And then we're going to start building our next post, <coughs> post and braid. Okay, so yarn over twice. Skip this stitch, go in from behind on the next one, yarn through. Yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, two loops. Okay. Wind twice. Skip that next post. Go to the post after that. Yarn over, pull through, go through two loops, two loops, two loops. 
yarn over twice, go to the next post, yarn through, go through two, 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 yarn over twice, go back and get that post you missed, yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two, and then yarn over twice and go to that next post that should have been, go through two, go through two, go through two, yarn over, and we're gonna do our double crochet. So there should be five blank ones in the back. One, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one is where you do your double crochet. And then you're doing another double crochet. Okay, so now we have made two braids. Okay? Okay. Let's go to the next one. So, yarn over twice. We should have two posts that have nothing worked on them, okay? We're going to the next post. We're going in the back, pulling our yarn through, go through two loops, two loops, two loops. Yarn over twice. Skip that next post. Go into the post after. Yarn over, go through twice, 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 yarn over twice, behind that post, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over twice, go back to that post that you skipped, yarn through, go through two loops, two loops, two loops, Yarn over twice, go to that next post that would have been in line, pull your yarn through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. And there is our third braid. Okay, let's anchor it. So we need five blank ones at the back. One, two, three, four, five. And the next one would be a double crochet. <coughs> And there we go. There are our three braids. And we're just gonna build on these. <coughs> Sorry. Now we're gonna continue to double crochet just around. So until you get to the other side, just double crochet in all the stitches. So you do that and meet back with me. Okay, so I've done my double crochets all the way around. Now to go in. So we did um, into the chain, into the stitch, into the chain. So we're going into the st stitch here. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So slip stitch into that stitch, chain one, and then we're just gonna do a row of single crochet. Okay, all the way around, single crochet. And then come back and we'll do our next row. Okay, so I decided we're gonna do this cable for five patterns, okay? So we've got two so far. <clears throat> so the pattern is the Double the single, the double the single, right? So we've done one, two, we're gonna do a total of five of the pattern, which is the two rows, okay? So do that for five and then meet me back. So you should have five of these braid, the little things that go across, you should have five of those. Okay. Okay, so I've done my five pattern rows and I've attached, I've slip stitched to attach. So now we're gonna start building our legs. We're gonna chain up two, okay. We're gonna do half double crochets for 20. So we're gonna count them out, one, Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now I'm just going to double check. Not counting your chain up two, that doesn't count as a stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So now we are going to chain up two and we're going to turn our work. <coughs> and we're going to do six rows of half double crochet. So that was one. We're going to do six total. So back and forth on those 20 stitches. So you do that and come back. Okay, so I've done my six rows of half double crochet back and forth on those 20 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've made my loop long. I'm cutting my yarn. And I'm very gently just pulling that tail through the loop. I am not pulling it tight because we're going to need it again. Now, we're going to start making the leg holes. So I'm going into the side of my work. I'm pulling my yarn through. And I'm going to chain up two. I am going to catch that tail and I'm going to do 20 half double crochets across. <coughs> Sorry to cough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's just make sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay. <coughs> now we are going to chain up 2, and we're going to turn our work. We are going to start decreasing at each end of the row. So the first row has 20, our next row is going to have 18, 16, 15, so on and so forth, right? So to decrease, this is how I do it. Yarn over into the stitch, pull your yarn through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull your yarn through. Yarn over, go through five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Go through all five of those loops. Now that turned two stitches into one. So that counts as one stitch. Now we're going to do half double crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so this row we want to bring to 18, so we're going to have to decrease two stitches. Yarn over, so I was on 17 stitches, okay? Yarn over, into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. Yarn over, into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. You have five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, go through all five loops, and that's turned it into 18 stitches. We're gonna chain up two, and we're gonna repeat, and we're gonna decrease until we're down to 10 stitches, okay? So we're at 18, then it'll be 17, 16, no, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, right? Got it? Okay. So do that. Go down to 10 stitches and meet me back. Just back and forth on those. Okay, so I've decreased. I'm down to 10 stitches. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to slip stitch to the other side in that chain two. Slip stitch. Of course it's not easy. Okay, make my loop big. Then I'm going back to where we had not pulled it tight and I'm gonna undo it. And then I'm gonna slip stitch in the chain two on this side. And this is what will make our leg holes. Okay, so slip stitch. Uh, come on. There we go. Now you can pull that tail through and pull tight. So see, we've created a little leg hole. Hi. Okay, going back to my working yarn. <clears throat> I'm gonna chain up two. Make, like turn my work to the proper side. And I'm gonna do half double crochets all the way around, um, slip stitching at the ends into the chain twos. And I'm gonna do this for three rows. So half double crochet in round for three rows. Meet me back. And if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Okay, so I am at the end of my three rows. I'm just doing a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut my yarn and pull my tail through my loop. And here you have it. You have made your cable dog sweater. I think they are so cute. Now, at this point, <coughs> you can put buttons, you can put a little flower, you can put a skull and crossbones. You can embellish it however you want, or you can leave it just plain like this. I think plain looks nice too. And then here's our little armholes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hide my threads. Now since we used one solid color, um, we don't have that many threads to hide. So yay us, I hate hiding threads. So I'm turning it inside out. And we're just gonna pick a, a tail and we're gonna start hiding it. So, <coughs> pardon me. Whoops. Let me get the whole thing there. Okay. So when I hide threads, I go through just from one side, okay, and then I go back behind where I started and I do some more. Hope you can see that. And I change direction and I just go to town and I use as much of the tail as I can. And I always go back a little bit and then forward. 
So a little bit behind where I started and then past it. Okay. There we go. And then I give it a snip. Notice I don't do knots. I, I just don't, I don't do knots. I've not had, <coughs> I've not had people complain that my stuff unravels, so. And I just don't think it would feel nice for a little four-legged friends to have a knot digging into their back or their side or wherever. So I just do lots of stitches. I weave it in lots and lots. And I do this back stitch where I go just a bit before where I was working and then go past it. So a bit before and then go past. And like I said, I change direction sometimes. And I go into different rows. Whatever floats my boat. But I'm only catching this side of it. I'm not going through to the other side. So I'm not having <coughs> big uh, stitches on the front side. Okay, and then I just give it a cut. Yeah, so um, I would love to see what you've created with this video for the dog sweater and how you've decided to embellish or not embellish. You can go on my Facebook page and show me some of your dog sweaters. I would love to see them. And if you're okay with it, I'll, I'll ask you in the comments. Um, I'll use it in one of my um, compilation um, videos. Your dog can have its 10 seconds of fame. Five seconds, I don't know. Those slideshows, the picture doesn't stay up for very long, even though I usually do the longest um, duration. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put a picture of your, your little four-legged friend, and it doesn't have to be a dog, it could be a cat, I even have made these sweaters for pigs, piglets. <clears throat> so, um, and don't forget, you can make this a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger just by changing the size of your hook. If you want to make it very a lot smaller, you could even change the weight of your yarn. This is a worsted weight yarn, and this sweater that I made today will fit a three to five pound dog. <coughs> um, or a cat. There we go. See, all my threads are already hidden. And then we put it back inside in. And there we go. Isn't that cute? I love it. Um, yeah, so send me pictures and I will Make sure it's okay with you first, but then I'll use it in a video if you say it's fine. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, I don't have written patterns because I kind of just make these up. I, I find a stitch or I see a stitch and I think, hey, I think I could work that into a dog sweater and then I share it with you guys. So, again, shout out to Sacred, um, Sacred Skin Studio for my awesome tattoo done by Clay. They are in Kamloops, BC, and I just love my tattoo. And Cable Dog Sweater Revised, size extra small, worked from the bottom up. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with my single crochet and I've done my slip stitch. So now what we're gonna do is just like last time, we are going to do a double crochet. I chained up three. We're gonna do a double crochet. Now you see that post, that treble crochet that we did? We're gonna grab it, just like we did our double crochet last time, and we're doing another triple crochet with it. 
Now, we're going to grab, I, I don't know if you can see it very well, but we're going to grab this middle post. Okay, so yarn over twice, grab that middle treble crochet, which kind of crossed over. We're going to do our triple. Yarn over twice, do another one. Okay, then yarn over twice. Now we're going to go back for the one we skipped. Okay, and then do our triple. Okay, and then yarn over twice, and then we're going to do that post. Okay, so you see how we're getting a braid there? Okay, and at the back, like last time, we're going to have five blanks. One, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one, we're putting our double crochet, and we're doing two double crochets. Not in one stitch, but two in a row. Okay, and then we're going to repeat. So see how our bra braid is getting more defined? Okay, so yarn over twice. Grab that first treble crochet that we did before. We're going to do it. <clears throat> Another one to it. Yarn over twice. Grab that middle treble crochet, which is kind of hard to get at because it's crossed over and stuff. Okay, and then yarn over twice. Grab that outside one in the front. Okay. And then yarn over twice and go back for the one you skipped. Okay. And then yarn over twice and grab that post. Okay. And now check the back, make sure you have five blanks. One, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one, we're doing a double crochet. Just a normal double crochet into the stitch. And then another one. So you see, there's our braid. See how pretty that's looking? I just love it. Okay, and now we're gonna do that again. Yarn over twice, around that post, do your treble, yarn over twice, go to the middle treble, and catch it, and do a treble, yarn over twice, go to the outside front treble, do one, another one, yarn over twice, go to the one we skipped. There we go, and then yarn over twice and catch that post. Make sure there's five at the back, one, two, three, four, five. And in the sixth one, do a double crochet in the normal stitch. So that was our third cable. And now we're just gonna double crochet around the rest of the row. And then we'll do a row of single crochet and then we'll do this pattern. Um, let me see. How many times do we do this pattern? Let me see if I have any of these. Hmm, I don't think I have any of these made. Um, None of these made. Well, I'm gonna say 